Hello everyone, I'm Sherry and you're watching Lessons Learned. Well, it's finally here, the Batik Boho Throw Pattern. I am not a pattern maker and I'm just starting to learn how to use a little bit of software. Um, this is super basic. You could draw this on a piece of paper and be fine. You're not going to have to download anything. Just listen to the instructions and just do it because it's, like I said, super simple. So here I have an illustration of a 54 inch finished product with six and a half inch squares. There's nine across and nine down. Now you're welcome to make it longer if you want. Just remember you need nine six and a half inch squares across. You can add some to the side too. But I'm planning on uh, using 60 inch square batting if I can find it. And um, that way this 54 inch will, will be plenty big enough for, or plenty small enough for that batting size. So haven't decided about the backing yet. I might do minky, who knows. Okay, so there you go. You need to make nine times nine, nine times nine. You need to make six and a half inch squares, nine times nine. That's 81, six and a half inch squares and that will finish to six inch squares. Okay, so you can just do your rows of nine and connect your rows. Now, on the petals that we're gonna use, I'm gonna show you how to make a pattern for petals. And all you need is a 10 inch piece of cardboard or any other stiff material that you can use for a pattern. And here is another option. It's some plastic. It's um, it's four patterns. You can get it at Joann's. I think it's about $7.99. You can cut you a square of this. But you don't need to spend any money. So take your 10, inch, 10 by 10 inch uh, cardboard and make a line from corner to corner and corner to corner again all right now in nature petals and leaves are not perfectly an oval shape like an orange pill quilt pattern is if you've heard of an orange pill um, template you can use uh, that to make perfectly oval petals if you have one you can use one um, I tend to like things a little more organic when it comes to petals and flowers and things like that. So how do you make a, a petal or flower like that? Well, just measure down a couple inches. On one side, measure down two and a half inches. And on the other side, measure three. And you're probably like, why? But you'll see. And then just try to get a straight, if you can use your one of your angled uh, lines on your ruler, that would be helpful. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just using these on the, my green thing here and kind of lining it up that way. So here's a line. And then let's do that again. I'll just kind of go like this it doesn't have to be two and a half or and three it can be it can be more or less just depending but you're going to see how it affects the look of your leaf now remember that this is your center first of all okay now you're going to measure out two and a half inches here and here and then on this section you're going to do 
one and a half. Anywhere out in this, in the middle of this, I would say. Maybe more towards down here. My dog really wants in right now. Hold on. And then another maybe an inch here, an inch here. Yeah. So the basic idea is, is we want to connect some dots. So this is going to give you something to go by. All right. So just freehand it. Go from one corner. Just look at those dots and where they are. And go all the way back up to your other corner. Kind of curve as you go. Just kind of pivot. There you go. So there's a nice wider on the bottom, skinnier on the top type of a thing. You could put more lines in too if you feel like you need more lines. And then just kind of put your dots more inward towards the ends. So easy. You could also just take out with some scissors and just start cutting. So I want to cut this out with my scissors that I don't use for our fabric. That's important. Don't use your ginger scissors or anything like that for I'm sure most of you all know that. You don't use those for paper or for cutting threads. There you go. So draw a square. Nine by nine, six and a half inch squares makes a 54 inch square. Okay. And I could take this and set it on top of this plastic one. But what we're basically going to use, do is use either material. You're going to use it as a template. Okay. Now let's talk about fabrics. I know I've been telling you to get out your gray fabrics. But I did figure out that this is pretty fat quarter friendly. If you've got fat quarters, this is going to be perfect. Now here I've taken out all of my grays that I think I want to use. Um, these are mostly batiks, but you don't have to use batiks. You can use other gray and white and charcoal and almost nearly black fabrics in it. But if you take one and open it, you can get six. You can get six, six and a half inch squares out of that. Here's my six and a half. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Not too much waste. Now, if you need to go buy fabric, then just tell them to give you a quarter yard. Or you can even tell them to give you six and a half inches, but maybe seven inches. They'll, they'll sell it to you that way. But uh, yeah, six and a half. If you've got one of these, you can draw them on and cut them, or you can just use your your, your cutter just as it is, all the way around. Or, uh, you, I'm going to iron these out, probably, and do it maybe like in thirds. I'll, I'll make it into thirds, and then do my, my two squares that way. Okay, that'd probably be the quickest for me. Now... Let's get these back here again because I want to show you what kind of other fabrics you want to get out to, to do your petals with. 
And you can go ahead and cut out your petals too if you want. Oh, also you can make different sizes of these and you can have a variety of big petals, smaller petals. Uh, you can make smaller petals for leaves if you want leaves or you know, you can do two or three sizes if you want. I'm thinking about just using long slender. I might use two different sizes. Okay, so now when you're picking out your fabrics, what do you want to do? Well, you want something that's really bright. This actually is a little bit on the dull side, but it would work. It would actually almost work for one of the gray ones, but it's, it's kind of, mm, you, you could go either way on that. I might kind of stay away from that. I'm not sure. Okay, these ones, too dark. It's too competing with the gray. This would probably work. These would definitely work. These orange and purple. Here's a green one. That's pretty. You could do leaves out of that. This one's a little on the dark side. I think I would leave it out. I'd probably use this one. Here's another batik. A little too dark. Could be used, but I, if I have something else, I'm going to use something else. Something brighter. There's a bright one. Here's a bright one. That could be a leaf. Here's an orange. That'd be great. Now, this is a little on the dark side, too. In my opinion, it might work. This one I probably wouldn't use. It's got too much gray in it. That's good. That's good. Another magenta. That's good. That's perfect. It's got all the bright colors in it. This one probably not. Maybe. This one, yeah. Now you want to keep something out for centers. If you want to do centers on your flowers, like a, you know, a little orange center, yellow center, like a, not like a sunflower, because they don't have yellow centers, they have brown. But like regular flower centers that are yellow. Could use something like that. Maybe. Too dark. Too dark. Too dark. Eh, maybe. If you want to do blue. This is great. Nope. Don't do that. And then I have a whole bunch of these kind of yellows too. Lighter yellows. Golden. This might make a good center too. There's another one. There's an orange. A couple oranges there. That I would be tempted to use for petals or, or centers. I probably would like to use this like... Looks like saffron, doesn't it? I don't know. On my side it does. Maybe not orangey enough. But there you go. That kind of gives you an idea of what you could use for your petals. So, before the next time we meet on this project, go ahead and cut out all your six and a half inch grays, whites, charcoals, and blacks. And you can also arrange those in a pattern if you want. Like if you want to do a across the this way with light, light, medium, dark, light, medium, dark, light, medium, dark. You could do that. Or you can just randomize them. I'm hoping to just randomize mine. Cut them all out and then just randomize them into a big stack and just start sewing together. Nine across, nine down, six and a half inch squares to start. It'll finish to uh, six inch squares. Okay, there we go. Now, you just go ahead, get your materials out, get your, your grays, cut them, and you can start cutting your petals. Now, the next time we um, do petals, I'll be showing you how to do the super easy applique method on that. And uh, you're wanna, gonna wanna get probably um, two yards of a light to medium 
lightweight fusible interfacing. And we could talk about that next time too because we're not quite ready to get into that yet. So have fun with it. If you have any questions, send me um, a comment or an email to LessonsLearnt2021 at gmail.com. And I'll be glad to answer any questions that you have about that. But until then, happy sewing. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.